Hi everyone, I'm Kazu Sato, developer advocate from Google Cloud. In this video, I'd like to introduce a tool called PDF2 Audiobook. What is PDF2 Audiobook? The problem was that I had too many unread PDF books. I have scanned almost all the paper books into PDF, but I didn't have no time uh, to read them all. So the solution is to build a tool that converts the PDF books into audiobooks so that I could spend uh, my uh, jogging time, my exercising times for listening to the audiobooks. Let's take a look at how it works. You can upload the PDF uh, file onto your Google Cloud Storage so that it could be uh, uh, automatically converted into uh, multiple MP3 files. And you can download those MP3 files and uh, listen to the, uh, the audio. How it works? I have used Cloud Functions to write a short Python code that combines the multiple APIs from Cloud AI. This is a function as a service to run your code with zero server management. So uh, the use case like this, like a writing demonstration or PLC code, uh, the Cloud Functions works best for you. This is the first function I've written for the Cloud Functions. This function will be triggered whenever you are uploading the new PDF file on a Google Cloud Storage bucket so that it will try to get a bucket object and file name for that, and then pass the bucket and file blob to the next PDF uh, OCR phase. And also, I have used the, uh, this command, gcloud functions deploy command, for registering this function as a cloud functions. After the first function is triggered by the cloud functions, the whole phase of the uh, processes will be started. The first, uh, it will start the OCR with Vision API, and then it will start using the OTMF tables for the feature extraction and layout classification. And lastly, it will use the text-to-speech API for speech synthesis. Let's take a look at how the OCR with Vision API works. Vision API is the machine learning API with the pre-trained API, so you don't have to have the machine learning expertise to use that. All you have to do is, is to just upload the, uh, the image data uh, to the API so that you'll be getting the result within a, a couple of seconds. In this case, I have used the OCR feature or text detection feature of the API. So like uh, the screen you are seeing now, uh, it will, uh, you'll be able to get the multiple paragraphs detected in, in a single PDF page. But uh, there are some uh, unnecessary part you want to remove from the, uh, the, uh, the audiobook. For example, the page headers would include the, uh, the numbers of the labels uh, on each page repeatedly, or that you don't want to listen to the uh, dialing labels, small captions, and also you may want to remove the, those page numbers. So to remove those unnecessary or garbage text, I have used the AutoML tables for the layout classifications. What is AutoML tables? AutoML tables allows you to build uh, your custom machine learning model for the tabular data, such as the uh, Google Sheets or Excel spreadsheet or the tables in the uh, databases. It does the uh, defining the uh, schema and data types of each features, and it automatically analyzes your input features, and also it, uh, it, automa it tries to automate a major part of the training, like uh, feature engineering or the model selection and hyperparameter tuning. In these demonstrations, I have used the features like this. So these are the features you, you got from the OCR result. I have used the text of each paragraph, and I was also used the number of the characters or the widths and height of the, each paragraph. Uh, that, uh, that, that gives you an area of the uh, paragraph. Uh, that means you can also get the uh, character size of each character. Uh, and also, you can also use the uh, features like uh, position, X position, Y position of the, each paragraph, and aspect, layout, and so on. So I have put all of those features into the AutoML tables to uh, train a model that predicts the, the uh, target, target label, uh, whether each paragraph should be on body text or header, or maybe caption label, or the other garbage text. Let's take a look at how the automated table works. So at first, you can define a data set and create a data set. 
uh, by uploading the uh, some CSV file or specifying some files on the Google Cloud Storage or tables on the BigQuery. So you can easily uh, upload the, uh, uh, the uh, training data set. Once you have created the, the data set, uh, it will show the uh, detected features uh, in each uh, data. So it tries to detect the, uh, the data types of each columns, like a numeric or categorical or string and so on. So you can check and uh, if, if needed, you, have, you can correct that. And also you can specify the uh, what column or what features you want to uh, use for training the model and start training the model. That would usually take like a four to six hours. Then you'll be getting the result like this one. So this is the uh, variation result of the trained model with the automated tables. As you can see, the, my, my model was able to get the 95% precision rate and 94% recall rate, which is not so bad. So I thought uh, this could be useful to, for building the tool. And also with the report, you can also get the other uh, information like confusion matrix, where you can take a look at the, how the uh, prediction for each labels would perform. For example, for, for detecting a body text, uh, the model works uh, at 95% accuracy. And for removing the garbage text, it works at 97% accuracy. Also, the report includes the uh, in, in feature importance that with that you can learn what are the important features uh, the, the model is using. In this case, the model is using the text itself uh, as the most important features because the AutoML tables has the natural language processing features inside it. So it tries to understand the difference between the, each paragraph, whether the, this paragraph contains a multiple natural languages with multiple sentences or this paragraph only contains uh, like a numerical symbols or just a URLs and, and so on. Lastly, uh, I have used the text-to-speech API to synthesize the speech. Again, this is another pre-trained model based uh, the, the speech synthesis API. So you don't have to have any expertise on using this. All you have to do is to call the REST API and pass the text to string to the, to, to the API, so you'll be getting the uh, generated audio. In these demonstrations, I have added some SSS, SSML tags for the, uh, for the speech synthesis, so that the, uh, the, the uh, speech synthesis tries to uh, add short breaks between the paragraph or the, having uh, more breaks between the captions and headers. Lastly, I have used the Google Apps Script to build the annotation tool. Because it took so long time for, for me to prepare for the uh, training data, so I have used the uh, Google Sheet for uh, preparing the training data like this one. So for each paragraph you are seeing on the sheet, you have to manually put the labels on there, whether it's some um, body text, it's a header of the section, or it's on the uh, caption of the label and uh, or the other garbage text and so on. And it took like a two or three hours per book. Instead, I have spent some time on building an annotation tool with Google Apps Script. So the annotation tool shows the, each paragraph as the rectangle with color. So each color represents the label of the paragraph, whether it's a body text or the section header or caption diagram, diagram caption or maybe other garbage text. And it uses the pre-trained model with the automated tables. So in early phases of the annotation process, uh, it provides the, uh, maybe uh, it makes many mix mistakes. So uh, by looking at those colors, the human operators can easily change the update the labels. So uh, if you keep using this annotation tool and keep training the model uh, again and again, it, uh, you'll be getting the much, much higher accuracy. The end result is 10 times higher productivity. Now I'm able to annotate on a single book within 15 minutes compared to the two or three hours per book. If you are interested in those products, please take a look at the product pages of these products. And also you can find my sample code on this repository. Thank you so much.